Yeah. Welcome back. We back. I'm spazzing. It's the end of the. It's the end of the motherfucker. Wake up, see. Wake up, see. See, ain't woke, but I'm wide of fucking woke. I'm woke. I'm just. Yeah. Yeah. We doing the damn thing. We back. First of all, we know we starting with. First of all, I'm gonna tell y'all this first. Eastern, I fuck with y'all. I gotta start it off saying that I fuck with y'all. I'm with y'all. I support y'all. I'm with y'all 100% next year and all the years after that. Come on, bro. At the one yard line, y'all need to learn, bro. Coming out in shotgun and short yard in situations. It's not only it, it's not Eastern fault, really, to me, see. It's 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 the whole game of football fault. If you look at football now from college, Alabama, everybody doing it. I just don't agree with it, dog. To come out in a pistol or uh, shotgun in short yardage situations, dog. And they lost that fucking championship like that, bro. People blew that shit up, dog. Got to the one yard line, bro. Look. All right. This is gonna go there. Not I don't I don't knock it, but what's the difference between you under the center, you still gotta turn around and hand the ball off. No, you behind don't behind the see, no. What you saying, just on a quarterback sneak? In that situation, brother, they got the ball inside the one. What no this here? You're supposed to be hot three times. Three times. Quarterback sneak. They was on the inch yard well, line. If you don't see that, then I feel Yeah, it. they was on the inch yard line, brother. They came out with when they got to the inch yard line, they came out with the quarterback running back here, running back here, with a gap in between them and the. By the time the by the time the quarterback catch the ball, them niggas was already in the backfield, brother. Get it from underneath the center. Even if you come in a, even if you turn and hand it off, my running back and them people gonna meet up at the line of scrimmage at the same time. When I'm in the backfield. I'm giving them a little bit more space to come blow it up. When we when we not under center, when we not under center, it's easy for them to just sell out and blow it up. Cause not dur- during the game, it's harder to blow it up because you have to respect everything. You get what I'm saying? If it was during the game and you needed to get this first down. I get why you coming out in the RPO and we at the 30-yard line. You got to respect the pass. Now that, now that the one-yard line, their coach already told them. They already felt like they didn't lost the championship. I don't give a fuck what y'all think. Go in there. And that's what they did. Hut, everybody committed. You know what I'm saying? So that, you know. What I'm saying they had four tries or something. Else. Yeah, brother. Three look, tries. Look what happened. First down, they come out. I tell Lou. I'm like, Lou, these bitches in shotgun, dog. I'm like, dog, they not about to get in. I joke what I said. Nigga like, man, you tripping. I said, yeah, man. They in the shotgun right now. I said, the people about to blow this first play up. Now the second play going to be from the three. Sure enough, come in there. First down. Now second down was from the three. Boom. Nigga ran the ball. No game. Third down from the three. <laughs> get it inside the one. Now four down is four inches. You know what they do? Call a pass play. Quarterback got hit. That's how that's how the last No, quarterback play. ain't get hit. He slipped and fell. Yeah, he ain't even touch him. Yeah, he fell. He stuck it in the running back belly, pulled it out, and like did this for the pass. And when he tried to step to the side, he just slipped and fell. They ain't even get to get the playoff on the four down. But I, I know for sure, dog, we were sitting on the on we were sitting on Westgate side, brother. I could rewind it to the play. When them people got to the one yard line, I'm tapping Lou them. I said, look at this sideline. Say, bro, them people was crying. If this the bench and that's the game, the camera the game, them boys was like this here. They lost already in their mind, brother. Everybody already knew like quarterback sneak game over, brother. Real talk. They bench had them, they catching temper tantrums and shit on the sideline. You know, like they like they had them lost, bro. That shit was amazing. I never seen nothing like that one. Now I saw I saw Carlos at the one yard line before. See people be talking that shit. When Tuna was uh when Tuna was the quarterback, and remember Terrence McGee from LSU? Terrence McGee was the quarterback for Franklinton. But he played running back in college. McGee them had a good ass team. Carl get to the 
Carl get no Carl Sko. Carl go for the win. Rest in peace to the dude Tonka. He stick the ball in the boy belly. If he keep it, he walk in untouched. He gave it to the running back, tapping in the backfield. That was the first one Carl lost. That's why I be telling them. Warren needs to keep y'all head up. Carl was y'all first. They don't like to talk about all the championships Carl blue. They don't like the, they, they don't talk about the championships Carl blue. Carl was Warren Easter first. They was getting up blowing it. Then after that, they went on their run. I feel like Easton going I feel like Easton gonna get over the hump. The same thing happened to Carl. Carl like first five times going. They was like <laughs> one for five. You see what I'm saying? Then they just went on a spectacular run after that. And I feel like Easton come because Easton is a good school. He's going to get his players, bro. You know, Easton going to get their players no matter. They keep falling off. And, like, I saw one of my coaches the other day that coached me when I was in school. And he was like, man, you know, what you think they should do, bro? You think they're going to clean out? So I said, hell no. I said, who you going to go get going to do, go do better? You done been in the dome four out of the last five years. You been in the dome six out of the last nine years. You know what I'm saying? And you lost all three of them by one point. Now, who you going to go get better? Nobody. He's sending kids to college. I can't fire him behind that. I only could get on him and say we got to do better. But I don't think he deserved to get fired because them dudes doing a damn good job, bro. So I tell my hat to him, you know, all that cleaning house and shit, that's overreaction, brother. You know what I'm saying? You know, we they, they, they just got to do better, dog. You know, and it's hard when you're in that seat. But I saw Tyron Johnson daddy today. Big T, the wide receiver who played for him, was number one in this. I saw T to the D. And T to say, say, bro, everybody keeps telling me the same thing. But he said, they don't run underneath the center. They don't run it. If you watch them, they ain't going under the center in 10 years. Like that what T to telling me today. They don't run it. You know, but I told him, I said, Zachary, West Monroe, all them schools, they done converted to the spread. But they got they old shit for short yardage situations, brother. You know what I'm saying? That's something I don't give a fuck if we, we run spread all year. This playoff time and shit, you know, championship week and all that, at the end of practice, you know how you be touching up on certain shit? We about to practice this fullback blast. We about to practice this for this week. We might get to this fucking one yard line and gotta get in. They, they, that's like they go to they, all them other schools show you. Championship week, you gotta prepare for everything. You gotta get your backup quarterback ready. Everything. Yeah. Them team, West Monroe, when they come, their starting quarterback could go out in the first quarter. Watch that backup come in running something. Eastern, them backup quarterback gonna come in, and now they gotta run Wildcat for the rest of the game. The same thing with Cole. They lurk. From years, you know, years ago. Carl gonna have that backup quarterback ready. It's the game to go to the dome. Or the game or, or, or championship week. Championship week, you gotta give your backup quarterback some reps. Your starting quarterback might go down. That's what them them schools up north, dog, they ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? But um, y'all gonna be all right, Easton, you know. I'm with y'all, bro. I ain't got nothing bad to see. Y'all Easton doing a good job to me. They did everything right, but finish. You know what I'm saying? I can't I can't say get rid of a man job for that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm with I'm with Phillips. I'm with Noel Ellis. I'm with the Eastern staff. I come travel all to the games and everything. I'm I'm with y'all, bro. I'm putting y'all back in the dome. I already know y'all gonna be back in the dome. They they preseason rank number one right now. You know what I'm saying? High school, you don't you don't get fired from Yeah. <laughs> Getting to the championship every year, you know. This but for he done been to three and he lost all three of them yeah, by yeah. one point. This this ain't ain't college. that some crazy shit. This ain't the NFL. No, bro, he lost all three of them by one point. 27-28, 26-27, and 14-13. They lost all three of them by one point. Yeah, you know. No, you all four of them. Caper Smith and them lost by one point to Neville. Tyron Johnson and them, they lost by one point. So Easton them been in the championship four times out of the like last 10, 12 years. They lost all four of them by one point. See, dude That's who crazy. that right now, he wasn't the coach. He was the defensive right. coordinator then. Right. 
Tony Hall was the coach. Tony Hall got him college job and shit, so he dipped. But yeah, they lost all their championships by one point. Devastating, brother. <laughs> Devastating. He's coming with it, brother. A real, real program, man. But uh, I let C tap in on this uh this local basketball. C know a little bit more. What's yeah, going on with that? What on um, this local basketball? I've not seen since then. I think last uh, time we talked, did we see the Carver Newman game? I mean, the Carver uh, McMahon game, the state championship rematch. I don't think so. But if not, <clears throat> it came down to the wide Carver boys played McMahon the rematch of the state championship last uh, last year. Tough game throughout. I think McMahon was kind of winning most of the game by five, ten points. Mm-hmm. Had to lead most of the game. They actually was up by ten with a minute left. Carver came back in the last minute, took the lead. And with a, a foul, uh, a controversial call. Took the, the lead game. on the three with five seconds left with the left handed 10th grader. And um, Alex Hammond got to the rack, got fouled with. I like no uh, with no time on the clock. You hear me? Knock down both free throws. You feel me? McMahon beat him by by one. I like Alex Hammond. I like Alex Hammond. Yeah, he could ball. I like Alex Hammond. It's a good. It was a good game, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It was a good game. They very familiar with each other. It was some runs in it. And then they still gotta play two games in district. And they play they only twice. play once in district. Oh, I was told they only play once. They don't play. And who both got the though. home game? Um, I think they play at McMahon. Cause Carver ain't getting my home yet. You no, know, uh, last year it was the COVID shit. And the year before last, Carver ain't had no home game. I don't think Carver ever got them at home. Yeah, I think they like at their gym. I think they either play in the arena or they play at McMahon. I think they play at McMahon, though. Know. But that'd um, be fire if they had a double hit that night with LeBron James and them. Let Carver play first. That'd be fire. I would be fire. Let Carver and McMahon play first. Yeah, Brian and uh, LeBron, them son, play uh, Newman. At January the arena. seven, right? I ain't sure it's the six. It's the seven, six or the nine, seven. Some it's, shit it's, like it's the that, six yeah. or the seven. For sure. Yeah, I got to see if they start selling tickets for that. But yeah, Tickets man. went for sale last week. My partner just bought it. Tickets t- t- tickets yeah. are officially on sale. Yeah, I got to grab something, yeah, man. Yeah, tickets are for sure. I was thinking about, I wanted to see what course side costs. Like, real talk. I wanted to see what course side yeah, costs yeah, for that I game. Check on that. I want to check and see what course side seats cost for that game. Mm-hmm. The young, the young Come on, this is a high day. school game. I pay 150 for course side seats, or 200. This, a, you know, it shouldn't be no more than that. Probably high yeah. school game. In Miami, the high school like, game was four hundred. That's Miami. Four hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking about one eighty. But you know, you know it was yeah. two twenty. We in the we in the we in the we in the Smoothie King Center. You did. Now this was course side at a the college. Oh shit. <laughs> you know, not even where you got a real court side at NBA. It might be three four hundred. I might fuck with that dude. I might have to fuck with that. Core side for that, for that game, son. We got to check. check yeah, we got to get in there, man. Fuck, check with on that. That. Check fuck with that. Check on that. Core yeah, side. But um, check I won't. I won't. I won't touch on the girls, bro. The girls basketball, man. Local, local, and state wise, bro. I went. I was in BR the last three days. You know, my little girl picked for John Curtis, but I got a shout out. <laughs> man, the girl Jada Richards, bro, played for Lafayette Christian, man. Girl had 55 on John Curtis, bro. 55. I I never saw nobody score that much in front of me and, and with my eyes on the floor. Not 55. I ain't never, you know, I had to think about it. I said, damn. I wasn't that, I ain't seen nobody score that much with my eyes, you know. That's a lot of fucking points, 55 points. Mm-hmm. And to make it even, now they lost to John Curtis, you know. I'm a little biased because my little girl, John Curtis, I want to see them win, but they lost to John Curtis by three when she dropped 55. My little girl, Shikashi, had 28 that game. But Jay to come back, they had two games. You know, high school, you really don't play. 
more than one game, and you know, it ain't like AU and shit. Mm-hmm. But they ended up having a whole nother game that night. Man, the girl Jada scored 51 that game, bro. The girl scored 106 points one day. <laughs> she liked that. Jada Richards, last Jada year at Richards. Christians, bro. She, she got to be leading the state in scoring. Nah, to me, I wouldn't be surprised. Fuck. She Four, leading the country. In five scoring. more years from now, LSU should have the best team in the country she if they keep grade. everybody in the state. If LSU keep everybody in this state, shh. Yeah, we already got, got some the number stuff one. Around. Yeah. We got the number one <laughs> 22, no, 23 girl in the nation, in the country, Michaela Williams. Right. Out there at Parkway. Don't they got a senior that's ranked, huh? That y'all played against. No, well, we got the. The top senior in the state, state. she going to Tulane. All right, all right, all right. She but she not nation Tulane. ranked. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think she needs national rank. She's a good player. She's going to Tulane, though. But starting from Michaela, yeah, Michaela, this girl Jada, she's going to be. She may not be on a national radar like that yet, but trust me, she will be. Like She got to be a top 10th grade in the country for sure. The girl got game, bro. She got some Kyrie in her, some Harden. She played D. She a point guard. She could dish it. She could shoot it just as good as anybody. And from what I'm hearing, the girl work ethic is crazy. She work out in the morning before school and shit. Mm-hmm. Practice in the evening. You know, she 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 a real the real deal Holyfield. You know, but I like that that LSU should have the best team next. Three, four, five the years. Next for three, sure. four, five Michaela. years, LSU should be top ten in the nation. Yeah, next they, three they to five years. They're only way that now. I mean, right. they, they ten and they one or something. They just got uh, your boy Booster had just did a little, her little recruiting thing. Camouflage son, Camouflage who got killed from Atlanta. Her son was, I mean, her daughter. I mean, his daughter was like the top recruit in Georgia. Oh, the girl. Yeah, I saw that. I didn't know whose daughter. Was, cause Cam- she rap. Camouflage. And she rap and like she her rap. daddy. She <laughs> rap. Too. She rap. That's yeah. crazy. And she signed with LSU. She play for him right now. She number four. She really, she really no, good. No, no, she don't play for him. She's still in high school. Oh, all right. You all right. Probably, she, she going there next year. Yeah, I think I you saw just saw when Boosie committed. Yeah. When she committed with Boosie. That's how she committed. Boosie go to the gym with her. They balling. Woo, 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 woo. She take the shirt off. Full Boosie like, y'all see what she going, see what she wearing. And that when Boosie like, R.I.P. Camouflage, my nigga, woo, woo. So I click on her page. And they go back, show her pictures, her daddy, woo, woo. I'm like, oh, that's why Boosie did that. Because Boosie like got a song. Rest in peace, the cat went. I heard that camouflage died. When he died, I almost cried. Boosie said that on one of his songs way 15 years ago. Mm-hmm. That he said about camouflage. And now he did the recruiting thing with her daughter. And, and Boosie captioned, he was like, R.I.P., my nigga camouflage. This bring tears to my eyes. Like, yeah. And she, I want to say she is in Atlanta, though. She from, uh-uh. She from where he got, uh, sub, uh, she from where cam what camouflage from? No, I'm saying like right now. I don't know what like where she like you know where she was born and then I want to say she playing ball high school ball in Atlanta though. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I don't I don't think she in Baton Rouge no what no. I don't, she ain't in Louisiana. No, she from Georgia. They tell you what she. All from. right, so camouflage from, from Georgia. The, yeah, camouflage. All right, no camouflage is no no Baton Rouge dude. Savannah, Georgia. That's yeah. where she from. Yeah. So they coming uh, with the recruits. His daughter named Flaugé. Yeah, something like that. I don't know how to Fla- say it. Flaugé or some Fla- shit. Flaugé. She from uh, she from Savannah. Yeah, she playing ball out there, man. She from that. She this girl yeah. basketball is on the way up, but I ain't gonna lie. Jada Richards, she didn't. I want to see what what these what these fellas at. Who's, who's somebody out there? I know last year we had to do with Keon Coleman, who went to Michigan State. You know what I'm talking about? Play football and basketball. Oh, no, you're right, see? She in Marietta. So that's like she Metairie to the A. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, know she, I, mean, right. I know she's in Georgia. I ain't know exactly what yeah, she did, but she, I think she was in the A. She in, uh... But Jada Richards, bro. Sprayberry High School. What, who doing that? 55, 51. 
who scoring like that, man? And look, she a four star recruit, ninety five scouting grade, ESPN three hundred. She ranked number six in her position, and she ranked number twenty six overall, ESPN three hundred. Camouflage daughter, yeah, twenty twenty two. Verbal commit, LSU. She just committed last week with mm-hmm. Boosie. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they, she can. So she LSU got a class Jada going. And <laughs> yeah, and and her boy, yeah, LSU got a class coming in. Yeah, man. <laughs> now where the big girls at? I see the guards and. I mean. I don't know they about them, They got that girl. coach. Unless you got that coach, yeah, bro. Yeah, she got the, he got the coach. They got, got the, the coach, coach man. <laughs> Shit. They got the coach. Boys, ain't the girls doing good over there? Football on the thing the slipping right now. The boys 12-0. No. The girls like 10-1. Yeah, the boys 12-0. The boys got the best team in the SEC, hands down. They better than Kentucky. What? They better than, yeah. Alabama? We bet, Alabama just lost to Davidson last night. We ain't losing to no Davidson. I respect Davidson or whatever. Right now, I'm just to Alabama. Got I've been whip. betting college basketball all year, so I've been watching it. LSU got the best team in the SEC. I watched Southern was beating Kentucky at the half, brother. LSU will beat the piss out Southern. Ain't no, it ain't, it ain't gonna be close. LSU gonna beat the fuck out Southern. Them people, for real. LSU for real, brother. <laughs> they the best team in the SEC. They is. They the best team in the SEC. Now you know we gotta respect Kentucky. They run the SEC. This Kentucky. We talking about they run the SEC, brother. Yeah, it still go through them. We still gonna have to meet them in the SEC champions tournament. Knock I'm their ass off. I feel like Alabama still got something to say about that. Oh, I fuck with that. Alabama they too. They won it last year. Alabama won the SEC. The SEC last year. Did we beat them in the SEC championship? No, Alabama won. And I think Alabama beat them in a. In the uh, tournament, tournament, too. too yeah. Javante Smart and them, I think. And they, Javante Smart and them went far. They went to, like, the Final Four or something or the Elite Eight. Alabama beat them again. But, um, yeah, bro. Give a few shots. Shout out to Walker. Walker Girls High School. They, like, 18 and no. They beat John Curtis out there Tuesday. Tough game. They won by 12. Tough girl, they, they well coached. Got a well coached team running these backdoor cuts. Got goddamn plays. They they, uh, yeah, they well coached the, over there. Alabama won the tournament, but LSU won the regular season crown. Yeah, oh. I, yeah, LSU. You know how? Cause look, Alabama had like them dudes barely lost last year, man. Alabama, it was like number one in the country, man. You, 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 you know, yeah. LSU was always top 10, though. They just lost a few games early on. But LSU was, you know, Alabama was like number one, number two, number three and shit all last year, dog. It was winning, shooting that fucking ball. All right, yeah, we, we, we won the regular season title outright in 18, 19. Alabama won it outright. See Javante Small getting some tick with Milwaukee, getting man. Getting tick, they like him. And they say Deek about to get called up. Deke was up. Deek was up. Well, he was now he back playing in the it's the Deke. Yeah, he got showcase. a two-way contract. It's the showcase right now. But he got you know I'm talking about they say they were about to call him up on the big team. I'm saying he done played on a big team already. Yeah. He done played in an in, in NBA game. It's just he got a two-way contract. He liable to go back and down. Right now, now, now he's he not playing with him right now, no, for sure, because everybody's in the G League tournament. It started last night. It's called the G League Showcase. It's the playoffs, like, for the G League mm-hmm. right now, but they make it as a big tournament. It is called the Showcase. I know he in that. And I seen one game, he had a nice stat line. He had, like, 19 points. He had a triple-double one night. Matter of fact, he had a... Nigga had a triple double, boy. Yeah, I would, um, in the G League, yeah. Yeah, he had a triple double, Deek. Saints. We look damn good. Just hate this, you know. 
Speaking of the Saints, bro, why we ran Drew out of town? I mean, not out of town. Why we ran Drew away? We needed Drew for one more year. I just feel like we needed Drew one more year. You hear me? I ain't lying. Why y'all think we? What? What y'all think we at? Even with Drew Brees with the chicken on. <laughs> Drew Brees with the chicken on. We nine and five, ten and four right now. With Drew Brees, who can't throw yes, that sir. bitch far so to y'all. Tell me this, dude. You don't, you don't think we that or better with Winston? I think so. I think we could see that Winston. It's a you don't know with him. How I mean, we were six yeah, and one or something when he left. We, you don't know with him. Still, we, did, we, we didn't really lose with him. We know what we was getting with Drew. If we had to let that shit play out with Winston. You know I'm what saying though, he lost his first game, and that's it. I don't think he lost another one, you know. I still would have had to play it out. I know what Drew Brees was going to do. I know if Drew Brees would have started with these 13 games we done played already. Yeah, brother, we'll have a better record than this here right now. But I, I, I feel like we'll be a game or two ahead, too, <laughs> if Winston was here. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like if we won, if we run the fucking two quarter, if we run the three quarterback system, that shit would have worked this year. What mean it? Run this wildcat with Taysom Hill and this shit. Bring Winston in when you really won't sling this bitch down the field and let dog that shit would have worked, brother. Fuck no, I wouldn't want to do that shit. Who gonna get a rhythm? Three quarterbacks? Fuck no. That don't make no sense. Two, it's two, uh, you know, um, too easy to figure out why you got Winston in the game. No, see, gotta... see, that's what you think you got to figure it out. You think when Winston come in, we about to hit you with the play action and hit you downfield, huh? But now we got Kamara coming across underneath. You didn't put everybody out there. You plan to fucking cover six. You scared of the over top because you know Winston could throw this bitch 80 yards. But now we got Kamara coming underneath on the Texas route, one-on-one -on -one coverage with a linebacker now because you bitches. Ha! Come on, you know Peyton was a dog. Anytime, that's why I told people. Think about it. We never really man, stop. Easy shit. Look, like we never really man. stopped being good offensively, right? And the whole league knew that we couldn't push the ball down the field. That's how amazing of a play caller Sean Payton was. They know we can't push this bitch down the field. But we stay the top five or in the league. We top five or in the league every year. But everybody know we can't push this bitch down the field. Play calling. You see what I'm saying? That's why I feel like we were supposed to ride with Drew one more year just the way we went out. The way we went out. Man, Drew was hurt, man. We couldn't fuck with Drew, though, man. Drew was hurt, bro. Drew fucked up. That's why Drew gone, man. He played good that Tampa game. But that we lost. That playoff game, he played damn good. I think we'd have been straight with Winston, bro. We would have. I think we'd have been good. I think we'd have been a playoff Super Bowl contender. Winston was still here. That's how I feel. Like, defense on point. He just was. He just was ready. He just was waiting to unleash Winston, taking his time, building his confidence up. He had good stats, not too many picks, and when we went and running the ball and bad at throwing and playing good defense, that's like the most coaching way you wish you could win. All right. So what you doing? Let me ask you this, then. So we keeping Winston for the low. Oh. Uh, we going, you know, we going with the Russell Wilson, Deshaun Watson campaign. Uh, fuck them. I got my quarterback, Winston, who can make all the throws they make. We going to pay him a little money, and we going to soup our team up. Which one you rolling with? Soup the team up and keep Winston? Uh, Deshaun Watson. I feel like if you feel like Winston could do that, I feel like soup the fuck. We got the best D in the league. I don't with think. Them. I don't. But guess what? Souping the team up with what you saying. Guess you what? still got to give Winston money. You got to give whoever the money. And know what I'm fearing too? <coughs> this is my no biggest. Team up this is my biggest fear with the Saints. I think we about to lose that fucking defensive coordinator, bro. He gone. Wow. He about to get a job. 
Dude, Should they just was talking. You know what I'm saying? Dude about to get a job. I think this year he gone. I think dude about to get a head coaching job, brother. Dude about to get a head coaching job, but we might lose him. That's all I'm saying. See, we might lose him. Like, he been putting in work for some years now. We might lose him. I'm saying Dennis Allen was a head coach. He could have been a head coach you already, I think. We might lose him, brother. I don't think we lose him. They, was, talking, too long. they was just talking about it when he had to call this game, just now that Sean Payton just missed. He coached this Tampa game. Yeah, he did. He did. You know I'm saying that's that's that'll, that'll bring that talk. Yeah, you know. You're talking about a former and, head coach. And, and, and the announcers, like, they don't think the Saints going to be able to keep this guy. No, no, no. That may be true, though. You know, he money hot commodity sure. right now. But, you know, true that. Because, you know, they say, uh, one man said the perfect fit for him, the Bears. The best. Khalil sure. Magnum with that defense and let him bring a nigga in like a bomber left with something to run the offense. You hear me? That is a good, a good yeah, a good job. <laughs> Dennis Allen, for real. You see what I'm saying? I'm trying to think, who he was the Minnesota coach? Why he, why he was the head coach at? I don't think he ever was the. Was he the head coach in Arizona? That's Dennis Green. That's the always thing, right? yeah, Dennis Allen never had a head coaching job. I yeah. always get him fucked up with Dennis Green. I want to say he had a head coaching job. Check that for me. <laughs> yeah, but you're right there. Right there. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Was Dennis Allen head coach? Was he? Nah. I'm trying to Oakland oh. Raiders, y'all. Yeah. 2012 to 2014. Oakland Raiders head yeah, coach. Oakland Raiders, sure was. 2011, when the Broncos went to the Super Bowl, D coordinator. There you go. <laughs> I knew you had, I knew you was there. With before. Vaughn Miller and them. <laughs> you did. And he been here since then. No, see, look what look what happened. He was with us 06. Through 10. He left us and went to Denver in 11. They beast out, won the fucking Super Bowl. He got the head coaching job with Oakland from 12 to 14. Then he come back to the Saints after he got fired. 15, and he been at the Saints since yeah. 15. Yeah. So like you say, he's coming off of a head coaching job, but he was in a fucked up situation in Oakland. You know, Al Davis was still living. You ain't calling no shots. See, I thought coach. it was a little early now. Yeah. I thought he was with us like the last nine, ten years. Uh-uh, he he just overall been with us about ten years. But He left us for some years. He left us from he, he left us from 10 to 15. He left us in 10 and come back in 15. Sean P. Brought his ass back. Got him a whole nother head coach job. Oh, well, we might lose him then. Because he I'm thinking it was just on some why stop being a you know, high commodity. You know, getting, another you know. team right in the division we could lose him to. We could lose him to Carolina. Your boy out of here from the college. They about to fire him. They just playing it sweet. They about to fire him. You got rid of Teddy Bridgewater when got Sam Donald, you know, who you thought your quarterback was. Your best jump for County, you out of here. He out of here. Carolina Code. That's why I see. LSU, you know, we got Brian Kelly. But, yeah, if we didn't get Brian Kelly, I wanted Joe Brady. Because all of them about to get the house about to get oh, clean. Joe, Carolina fired Joe Brady. Oh, see? They fired him right, either right before Brian Kelly took the job. I think he turned down the job. Not something like that. I think... He wanted an NFL job or some shit. Uh, some shit like that. But uh, LSU got Brian Kelly, though. I don't think we missed Our future that. look bright, though, so I'm with the Saints, though. I ain't going to lie. Like, we got the best defense in the league, and our defense young, brother. We young all over. D-line fresh, linebackers, corners. For real, we young everywhere. Young. We got the best D-line in the league. Don't you know, dog? we rotate eight niggas on our D-line? Eight niggas get in the game. Our D-line ain't never tired. We got first-round draft picks and shit that don't even start. <laughs> For real. That's why, that's why I do Why it. you think we get pressure on the quarterback get like that? We Our Russell, D-line uh, always fresh. 
Russell uh, Wilson. Yeah, oh, <laughs> like I said, I'm on the Russell Wilson and Deshaun Watson campaign, bro. I'm I feel on, like man. that's who we gonna get, though, Russell but Wilson. Look, look, I heard some shit today that got me spooking on the Russell. Guess who they say won Russell? Seeing this article today, Pittsburgh. They like Pittsburgh won it. That's the perfect fit for that nigga. They got the receivers, Claypool, and them. They got that white brother defense. Uh, man, that ain't more up. perfect than here. Sean Payton, dog. No, it ain't. But that ain't more perfect than here. Going and playing the fucking snow. It's just as perfect. No, I mean. This this the Rodgers of Pittsburgh, as history, history, Yeah. You saying perfect. But for his career? But now, Saints, if I'm him, man. I'm picking the Saints and everything just off of. You want to go get in that division or you want to come get in the NFC South? I'm choosing, the, I mean, the NFC South. I'm choosing our division over there. <laughs> you want to go fight that division? You got to go fight Joe Burrow, Lamar, <laughs> and Cleveland. You know, Cleveland will really be good. They, 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 they season got lost with injuries and shit. That was the nigga know. Cleveland season got fucked up off injuries and shit. They're going to be right there. In the I'm just saying, a quarterback, dude, you about to go... You got to pick out of a dome. By my time, then I'm going to let you. With, uh, just listen. Them Haley over yeah. there. You got to. Man, look. You want Haley or Sean Payton. They do the same. He the head coach, but and he better than you at doing what you doing. You ain't better than Sean Payton at no play calling and all that. Even though you cold. You're a dog. Well, you want to go play in some fucking snow or you want to play in a dome <laughs> with defense. You the quarterback. You the quarterback. Like, Aaron Rodgers been doing that shit. Ben been you. doing that shit. You. Like, you just want to go in that shit. But guess oh, what no. else I heard with Russell Wilson do? And I'm hearing a lot of spots for quarterbacks because they got a team in place. Perfect weather. Nigga going to play in Miami. They still not sure about tour. They not going to get rid of him for nothing. But <laughs> the big three oh, is open. Rodgers, uh, what the big three is right now? Rodgers, Watson, and Wilson. That's the big three in trade talks. <coughs> Buy it to him. <coughs> yeah, if you could get in them, yeah. <laughs> you know what it's I'm saying? Like, but other than that, I feel like to a job good. But if you could get in one of them, to a, it's, it's critical. Russell Wilson, Saints. Is that I just don't think they're going to let Aaron. You let Aaron Rodgers walk out of Green Bay. Yeah, the question is, is Deshaun Watson career over? We don't know. That's, that's the why, big question, that's why, bro. That's why we, I don't know what's man, going on with that bro, shit. They really blackballed this man. You don't even hear his name no more. You don't hear his situation. I ain't see a story pop up on my phone yet. Well, yeah, something's gonna, gonna happen. Something's gonna happen when coming back. With the news or he something. He missed the season. Happen. It's oh, he, he, he didn't miss the. They didn't took the season from him I, already. Nigga said I don't want to play for y'all. Next thing you know, fifteen rape charges. Come on, man. Them billionaires a motherfucker, boy. Them being there as a motherfucker, boy. Yeah. Play with our money. It's crazy. He got he got to go through his protocol, whatever the fuck going on. But I hope you know. I hope that shit ain't true. But cause like it's... he could come back not the same. He missed a year of football. A quarterback. Yeah, he could come back and not, not saying you know, but he could come back and not now now. We seen Michael Vick have his best season, fresh out the pen, ever he had. So. It could happen. They could miss in football. Vic, the only nigga I seen miss a year and come back and have an MVP season. Vic, the only nigga I seen miss a whole year or two. No, uh, man. Now, Vic missed the most time and came back and had the fire production. Now, he missed after. the most time. He missed the most time. Because he missed two years. Yeah, and came back in 2010 but you and know, had Tom an Brady MVP got, year. Tom Brady got a two ACL. He missed a year. Yeah, he came to this bitch up. He came to this bitch up. Anybody who was the real deal niggas and got hurt. If you the real, I don't think nothing's wrong. Deshaun gonna come back and but tour Vic shit. But Vic missed two years. Yeah, you you what you didn't expect that. And, I, I would expect for Deshaun. Vic and Deshaun came, was young and everything. Turned into a pocket quarterback when he come home. Uh, Vic, that Vic got with Andy Reid though. Nigga. See that, that he got with Andy Reid. You gotta give man, credit to. Fuck with Vic and Philly, man. Got, but gotta give credit. He I got had with, that jersey. That's he seven. got with Andy Reid, brother. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Fuck it right, got with Andy Reid. Damn, with, that nigga's a go. Oh. That's why I say, like you said, that'll be scary, dog. Because uh Russell Wilson never had an offensive coach. Period. He never had a brain with him. 
He never had a brain yeah, in the building. Yeah, Carroll defense. Yeah, he never had a brain in the building. That's why he said that this this was going on in Seattle. Either they about to get rid of Pete Carroll or Russell won out. That's what's going on. That's what I've been hearing. Russell, P. Carroll either gone or me. Which one y'all going to keep? I think that's how he coming right now. Me or him? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's that how way. he coming. And it just looked like, you know, Russell just handled it like a professional, so yeah. it ain't looking like no tension or nothing, you know. He ain't doing it yeah. like Rodgers. Man, they, I, they asked Rodgers last week something about the organization. That nigga said, I love the fans or something. <laughs> they asked him about the team. I, who, 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 you know, you 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 love you you love you you love this Green Bay Packers. It's something. He's like, yeah, I love the I love the fans. Or some shit, something blatant toward him. Like, I don't fuck with the team. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm playing. Ooh. Yeah, he said it. He, that nigga came out and said it. Like, <laughs> what I'm saying, bro. If they not about to get that man whatever fifty million a year or something, I think I just I I don't want to believe, but I think Aaron Rodgers still gonna lead them people, right? And I still see cause your and boy look. they wasn't using him this year, they still using Garoppolo. <laughs> see, he really won't go home. Let me tell you this, Frisco. Now this might that's be where a, he won't go, this buddy. might be a crazy. Now he that could, that could probably happen. Now this might be crazy. I'm just thinking about this. You're not gonna be Frisco with him, but go ahead. OBJ. Right. Right. He could have picked Green B. Yeah. Right. Like, told him I'm about to dip. Why wouldn't you pick Green B? You talking about the best in the league for sure. MVP last year. Throw the prettiest ball. No, no, no. Guess what? That ego shit. Adams. That's hey, why he on, didn't man. pick no, Green B. I don't care what you say, see. What you mean? That's why he cup. didn't pick Cup not Adams. Like they had the argument the D about uh Marcus Spears and your boy, they argued the ass off this morning about this point. Yeah. Cooper Cup, woo 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 woo. Dude with the gun off. Spears talking about Cooper Cup, the best wide receiver in the league, but dude like pump the brakes. He cold as a motherfucker. But come on, man. You you know he ain't Devontae Adams. They had this argument. So I is, know that. I mean, is, is he, is he better than Devontae Adams? Adam. No, he, he's not better. He, no. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Like, Cooper Cup. A, what that got to do with No, that? what I'm saying is Cooper Cup is a slot receiver, a nigga that was good. They work, worked him up, work, worked on his game, and his production just high as a motherfucker right now. He not – OBJ know for sure. When I step in this locker room at the Rams, I'm the best receiver here. When he got the Green Bay, you number two. Listen, Cooper Cup is the number – Odell Beckham is the best receiver, but – you getting the best production out of Cup. Just like I could take you to Tampa. We all know who they gave the fucking money to and who the number one wide receiver is, Mike Evans. Who getting the most production and getting the most catches? Godwin. Who got the most catches on the team? Godwin. Since Brady been there, Godwin got the most catches on the team, but the best wide receiver is, is Evans. And that clutch and clutch plays in Evans. Now, Coop making clutch plays and all that, I ain't saying he not. He not a better wide receiver than OBG. I don't get the he he not a better wide receiver than OBJ. I'm gonna try to tell you when I'm when I'm thinking about going play somewhere. These people got the man who they saying right now. Seven out of ten football people you go to right now, and I don't agree with it. But seven out of ten football people is saying Adams is the best in the league right now. You go to seven out of ten NFL people, dog. They saying Adams the best in the league. I don't agree with it, but they saying Adams the best in the league. Odell. Odell, one of them diva type niggas, man. He ain't gonna do it, brother. Odell, that was the reason. I don't care what. That was the reason, dog. Devontae Adams over there. That's why. You gonna go play next to Devontae Adams or you wanna go play next to Cooper Cup? I'm gonna play next to Cooper Cup. Yeah, ass production and shit, hi. I'm, saying, I'm talking about long term. Long term, I know I'm gonna beat right. this nigga Cup out. I know I'm better than him. <laughs> Adams over here. In Green Bay, <laughs> number one receiver in the league the last two years. I think you're looking at it totally wrong. No, dog. Cause this is what I'm saying. The wide receivers listen got right complex quick, dude. Type listen, shit, brother. But this is what I'm saying. It's they like their feelings. it's not like you're the only receiver on the field. Like that, don't, that don't make sense to me. You're talking about targets, right? 
to me, it would have been way easier going to fucking Green Bay. They double teaming this nigga, Devontae Adams and shit. Right. Like, and know what everybody going to be saying? You shining because you on the other side of Adams. Yeah, see? You shining because you on the other side of Adams, brother. That's why the dude ain't go there. And they're going to be on Adams. Now you catching for all this here. But, you know, critics going to be like, you catching Man, for all so that. you think he thinking about critics? I ain't saying he thinking about all that. He ain't think that far. Man, why would you think No, like listen. That? I'm just saying. I'm going off and you see I'm a, the biggest. I'm doing this because of another nigga. Come on, listen. man. I'm pretty sure you done right, dealt no, with that no. petty all right. shit. Let me, let me, all right. School. I'm just, like, that I'm, make sense. I'm just saying how a nigga would be thinking if, but you ain't let me if, finish if he goes to, to thinking that fault. He didn't think that fault. Nobody thought, man, Devontae Adams over there. He ain't had to think past that. That don't make sense. <laughs> yeah, to me. yeah, that fucking makes sense. That mean? make all the sense in the world, brother. Number one receiver like Odell Beckham, he go, he not going to play beside a motherfucker who's just as good as him or better. He wouldn't have signed with no team that had nothing like that. He wasn't going to sign with that, brother. He wasn't going to sign with nobody that had something was a threat to him for his, the best in the locker room. He wasn't going to do it. He that type of nigga. Odell that type of nigga, though. So this is what I'm saying, dude. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. You acting like the man signed a fucking contract, uh, fuck some contract with these people, like he about to be there. I'm just saying, I know my 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 reason. You know what I'm I saying, think, what you real. saying, we don't know this why Odell it don't Dale make said. sense, dude. I think he ain't go over there because of But this why it don't make sense. You acting like he signed some big ass contract. I might to be over here with Devontae. Are we talking about the last ten games, man? You think he, you think somebody worried about he did something good? In these last 10 games, because another nigga on the side, he ain't got to be here. He could go somewhere else at the end of the season. He ain't got no contract with these people. So that don't make really sense. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I can see if he signed a deal like I'm, I am ain't going to Green B. I'm going to the Rams. Like, I'm about to be here for they gave me the money. Both of them had the money for them, but I took that. No, we talking about middle of the season, that shit. You ain't supposed to go nowhere and be the man. How the fuck you going to do that? You ain't never... This quarterback ain't throw you a ball yet, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like he signed more than a one year deal. Who? Odell. Odell not on a one year deal. Man, Odell just signed for the rest of the season or something, man. No, man. Yeah, what you think? How you, how you think somebody about to just sign you in a he, multi meet a multi contract in the middle of the season after you just got not released? a multi? He got like a two year deal or something. No, man. Just I don't care what year. it was. He ran away from that. Duh. Why you don't go play with Aaron Rodgers? Ask yourself. The only reason I could think is because, come on, all right. Well, why why wouldn't I play with Aaron Rodgers on a one-year deal then? Even if Aaron Rodgers say he about to get the fuck, or even if I'm hearing rumors that he about to get the fuck, why would not come over here and get the fuck with him? I ain't go over there because yeah, that fucking boy in that locker now room. Look, That's why. Now listen. <laughs> I think this don't makes makes more sense than that. Why? This why I brought this up because Aaron Rodgers probably is gonna leave. This why I brought all this up. Why I go over there and then know I gotta leave too? Like you know, knowing that's what I got to do. You but know I know what I'm one saying? thing: I'm gonna play with Aaron Rodgers, so and I'm what? on the other side. I know. But I, I, but you saying all my I think I could sign with anybody right now. I uh-huh. got mad. I got fucking in LA, right. warm weather, where I want to be at. First of all, this is where I want to be at, LA. With a fucking team like the Rams, even though Aaron Rodgers, y'all doing your thing. It's about to get cold and everything, man. Nobody in the NFC is throwing the ball all over the field more than Green Bay. Why do you almost go play with that? Not even the Rams. They ain't throwing this bitch all over the field like Green Bay, brother. Green Bay is throwing this bitch all over the field. Man, the Rams is too, dog. They got they got one of the highest offenses in the league. Yeah. And this is what I'm saying. <clears throat> it would have been it would have been better in Green Bay. As far as that's why it makes all the sense that knowing that Aaron Rodgers leaving. Because, though, there's no way they could double both of y'all. It ain't about, oh, they got Devontae or the nigga, y'all about to go off. What? Y'all about to go off, man. Like T.O. Jerry Rice shit. You know, before they got up out of there. 
J.J. Stokes and them, man. Like, that ain't no bad thing that we got two cold-ass receivers. I can't say that man thinking like that. Oh, Devontae over there. I ain't going to get my just due. Man, we got Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Boy, everybody going to eat. Shit. Boy, get open. Get open. You li- we going to break records like a motherfucker, man. I'm going to throw for 60 touchdowns. Both of y'all going to catch for 20 of them. They could do some crazy shit like that. I don't think that's why, dog. Then you go Cooper Cup. Devontae the coolest nigga in the league, you know, arguably. But Cooper Cup. Got the numbers like the coolest cool. thing. Cooper in Cup his got league. the production. I'm gonna try to tell you. He you know what I'm saying? Up. He so, got the production. He just broke Isaac Bruce's record. That's what I'm saying. That man Bruce can wake up right now. Six catches right now. Dude can wake up right now and tell a nigga, "Yeah, I'm the best receiver in the league." Who the fuck gonna tell him something? Devontae Adams. Even though I know right? Devontae Cole and gonna, you know, I would say Devontae the better, and but dude putting it up, man. No, but guess what, dude? Devontae not better than them. But I told you I disagree with niggas who be calling him the best. I got about four or five niggas in front of him. That's just my opinion, though. Everybody shit opinionated. I don't think he the best. I don't even think he top three. That's just my opinion. He not better than Odell than me. Stop it. Who? I don't think Adam's better than Odell. When Odell 100%, nigga slaying that bitch to him, I want Odell Man, over come him. Come on, son. I don't think he better. Not Odell, son. Like, no, I, don't think o- I, I don't think so, son. Odell can't walk in the same room with this dude. Right shit. Now, no, indeed, son. No, the, the best Odell he not ain't better, better than Devontae. He's not better than D-Hop. The old... <clears throat> now, look, you know I ain't going to play about no D-Hop. Mm. <laughs> you know, D-Hop could, D-Hop could tell that to anybody. Nigga ain't better than D-Hop. I ain't fussing with no nigga about D-Hop. Devontae I ain't fussing with no nigga about Devontae because he different. He like that. And he, you know what's happening. But OB... O, o, Odell, best year, is not better than Devontae's. Like, dude not better than no, o, um, the Devontae's, uh, Odell. No, indeed, no. That catch, the only thing that, <laughs> that's it. That's it. But Devontae, man, you ain't fucking with that, man. Odell, you ain't, no, no, Odell can't run with no fucking Hawkins. That's like saying you better than Hawkins. You know, you played all these years with Evan Rogers, dude. Man, what that got to do with it, man? I got a lot. Huh? I played with, with a game I played with a game manager, Eli. And you played with a nigga slinging his bitch all over the field. A game manager. Yeah, Eli. Dude ain't no fucking game Eli manager. Eli never threw for fucking four thousand yards or nothing. He wasn't slinging the ball all over the field. You playing with Dude a five for four thousand you, yards. You, you playing with a five thousand yard passer, man. You playing with a nigga who Never really had fire passing stats. No year. Pull it up. No year he man, had fire passing stats. Yeah, that's no, he was. Fuck no, man. Dude, dude wasn't no Trent Delphin, no fucking body. Uh, man. Uh, he was a little bit past that. Man, that dude was elite quarterback, fuck man. Fuck no, man. He never had elite numbers. Never. Dude, Eli Manning. Yeah, man, ne- come on, man. He, he go back and pull up his numbers. Eli Manning never had an elite quarterback season. Never. You know, I think that got a lot to do with system, too. Yeah, dude was no, you gonna the run the system shit. that a nigga could run him. Ben Rosselberger came in, game managing him and Brady. Next thing you know, year seven, he spreads you out, bitch. <laughs> so you ain't spreading nothing out with Eli? What you talking no, about, man? No, man, Eli wasn't doing nothing, man. man you can pull you up crazy, the stats, man. man Eli, Eli had a different system. Eli man. ain't do nothing. Man, you man, yeah, I'm Eli Man, the biggest fucking critic, boy. <laughs> Eli Man and ain't do a fucking thing, man, boy. I'm about to go. I gotta man. go to the numbers. Hold up, Eli Man and ain't do a motherfucking thing. Man, I see Eli do nothing. Man, Eli ain't do nothing. All the way up. Eli ain't do nothing, man. Man, ain't yes, do, sir. And ain't do nothing but fucking yeah, beat bitch, time, let Brady. me do it. <laughs> uh, uh, he tripping, man. Eli got two of them things, man. Fuck you mean, man. Game manager. Eli threw for more than 4,000 yards. All right, yeah, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, yeah, he threw for it a couple of times. But still. Man, come on, man. 
Look at his nigga be doing Eli look at his passing yards from 05. Look at his passing yards from 05 to 08. 37 62, 32 44, 33 36, 32 38. And then in 09, he threw for 4,000. 2010, he threw for 4,000 to two yards. You heard me? 2012, he threw for 39, 13, 38. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. You want me to go to Evan Rodgers and them shit? They show you what they were throwing for. <laughs> Boy, look. Yeah, you talking man. about the best ever and shit. Like, I was hard on Eli Manning, dog. Aaron Rye, he talk, that was Eli, I'm the fucking garbage is Hall of Famer, Boy, <laughs> on the real, son. Man. Man, fuck. Man, man all right, man. put it like this here. See, this is where we go to fucking debates and shit at. All right, I got a quick debate. I can just show you how, you know. First, I'm going to go Eli. back. First, I'm going to go back in time to the old school, to your era, Root. All right. If you think Troy Aikman was better than Dan Marino or Jim Kelly, you're out your fucking mind. He got the mm, jury. He, that, he got the jury, though. All right? But now, fast forward to this, to this era. If you think Eli Manning was better than Donovan McNabb, you crazy as a motherfucker. See what I'm saying? But... Everybody you go to, they're going to give you. E- oh, are you crazy? Diamond McNair wasn't fucking with no Eli, man. Woo, Eli B. Brady. He got two of them bitches. In- man, fuck all I that. Ain't lie. That was a good example. Yeah, dog. Donovan probably was better than Eli. Boy, Donovan McNair was way better than Eli. Ain't no, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> you know, but he just, he, he, you know, he just ain't get that ring, dog. Like, you know, I just be saying, brother. Eli, nuh uh. Ah, uh, I could, boy, look. Mm-mm. I Donovan got, few... got to the NFC Championship, like, what, six years in a row or some shit? Yeah. Something crazy. Donovan... And you know he got beat on a field goal by the dynasty, by the Patriots. He lost to Jordan. You know, he like Patrick Ewing now. He lost to Mike. T.O. on a broke leg. To a T.O. on a broke leg, caught for 200 yards in the Super Bowl. Remember? Yeah, he caught for like 198 or some shit. <laughs> Something crazy. To T.O. fucked them bitches up. Two touchdowns and everything. You hear me? Now, he's put sad Donovan McNabb. He was on the sideline throwing up and shit for the game and shit. You hear me? Spooking. Talking about he got the jitters and shit. You hear me? For the Super Bowl, he was spooking. But Donovan McNabb, when I look back, Donovan McNabb, one of the best quarterbacks I ever seen. Like, period. Donovan McNabb was cool. I, like, he don't get his respect because he ain't won the big games. But look back on it. Donovan McNabb, top five in our generation. Uh, he fall right. It's, you know, you know. Yeah, Donovan McNabb is up there. He one of the greats to me. He ain't got the – he he one of the best dude, though. Donovan McNabb. I feel that. I feel Donovan that. McNabb, one of the best to play the game. Fuck what you talking I about. That, Dude but... was producing every year. Feel it. Swinging that bitch. Nah, I feel like Eli is on that level, though. I feel like Eli on that level, but I understand why you're saying Donovan better than him. Donovan was just a more athletic, could do everything, could throw this Make bitch, all you the know. Who, but I feel like Eli, boy, you, boy, you ain't, you ain't, like, relax when Eli got the last fucking try to beat you. You ain't gonna never be relaxed. He gonna come beat you most likely. He got the last try to win. Eli, that's how I look at and quarterbacks look, and shit. Another nigga you fuck with, and they, look, they got traded for each other. Eli and Phillip Rivers. Eli Rivers, Eli got the jury. Remember, they swapped they swap teams. Yeah, Eli know. ain't wanna go to San Diego. E- Eli ain't wanna go to San Diego. And they made him and Phil, because Phil Rivers was gone to New York. They squished teams, brother. And the rest is history. But guess what? Phil Rivers was better than him, too. Phil Rivers better than him. But he got the two rings. But Phil Rivers was a better quarterback. Go check the stats. Phil Rivers was better than Eli. Yeah. That's another, that's another one. That he don't got the rings. Phil Rivers was better than Eli. You know, nah, think about it. Rivers, guess bro. what, dog? Phillip Rivers was another thing. Yeah, all you had to do was meet him in the Super Bowl. I fuck with Phillip Rivers. I had to meet in my prime when I was winning, when I was fucking the league up. Tell you what Phillip Rivers had to go through. Some niggas had to go through certain shit that some people, some other people ain't have to go through, bro. Like, Phillip Rivers' career was hard, bro. Look who he was over there with. 
He was over there with the big three. He was over there with Peyton Rosenberg and Brady. How you gonna get to the bull? He gotta meet one of them every year. One of the three. He losing to one of the three. He was over there with the big three. Brady, Rosenberg, and, 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 and Manning, brother. You know, he had LaDame and Thomas and Gates. Cold ass team, dog. You heard me? The Chargers was like. The Sproles and shit. You ain't say that. <laughs> You're right. All oh, that shit, your boy. Uh, Danny and Thompson. Quinn jamming them and shit get, get on the defense. I fuck with Phillip Rivers. You, you, know? you feel me? Phillip Rivers had a better career than Eli, brother. Eli got the jury, though. Till my head to him. He, he won the big game. But that's all he did. Now tell me this, dude. Did Eli really have teams like that? He had defenses. He had defenses. He did. But he didn't have what no Phillip Rivers had to even do this shit. He had LT, man. He had <laughs> Gates. Yeah, all Tony the best Gates. Tight yeah. Yeah. You know, Keenan Allen for a good bit. You know what I'm saying? He had some people. I can't even think about everything. Phillip that had defenses, offenses. What receivers you remember from um, Eli? You right. He had a he had a rookie. Pla- he had OBJ. Plastico that one year when Plastico came shine. When Plastico Plastico came shine for two years, he yeah. shine. He Plastico yeah. shine. Plastico shine. He, but, Plastico shine, and then he built Victor Cruz. T- come on now. He built Victor Cruz. Victor Cruz undrafted. Like what he the, built come on, that man. Uh-huh. Like, uh-huh. This man ain't had nobody, bro. Plastico, a nigga who didn't practice. You know, he banged up all year, just, he liked that. And Phillip Rivers had Vincent Jackson them and shit. Your boy who yeah. just died. Boy, Vincent Jackson was cold. Was dog, big old, old tall nigga. Yeah. Six, four, yeah, six, he five, had, fast. Dude had way more weapons all his career than Eli. They, See, they, I, I mean, give you that, You got to look yeah, at yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had way more weapons. You know? You know. Eli Marty Schottenheimer. fucking cold. Running this offense, Marty Schottenheimer. Phillip is fucking sunny all day out there. We all chin is fucking cool, and we got to run the ball and play defense to win. That's how we but he win. Had Tiki Bob, he had Tiki Bob and Brandon Jacobs. They was pounding that rock. Yeah, you, you better have some niggas because you ain't got no receivers like that. And it was more old school. They, and, and Tom Coughlin, my nigga. That's why. Tom Coughlin, you talking about Mr. Old School. Come on, man. We fucking eye formation, man. Brandon Jacobs, man. Tiki, run the ball. We ain't doing all none of that shit. None of this new shit. Fuck no. We got to um, touch on right now, though, what's going on right now. And, though, uh, how you feel about the coach? Because, though, I like Carson Wentz. And, though, Jonathan Taylor is awesome, though. Yeah. We were watching him in college. Yeah, he the best back in the league this year, <laughs> you know, <laughs> for sure. He the Man, best back. He looking like Nick Chubb ain't got hurt. Derrick Henry got hurt. Where it had a little bit more comp. But, man, he's showing up. Showing he up. up he cold, son. He cold, bro. Carson Wentz, he play, he play all right. Wentz, staying healthy. I like Carson Wentz. If he healthy, I feel like he elite. And Carson been playing elite, showing he's scrambling, running again, and everything. They, like, they got a good D. Coach, Coach gonna be I serious. I like Leonard. I think he he my top linebacker in the league right now. Yeah. I feel like he the best in the league right now, linebacker. He got that. Him and your boy for the Saints. They they don't they don't get their credit, but no, they get their credit. Both of them just got their money. I'm tripping Pro Bowl and shit. They doing their thing. Demario Davis and Leonard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And you know Devin White and shit. But I fuck I, with they the Colts, though, than man. Devin White. They won a big game this weekend against um, the game. Patriots, man. And they play somebody else good again this week. Yeah, it's down to Nitty Gritty. Got, got four weeks left. Mm-hmm. You know, about to be on, man. Now, now the Saints question. We in or we out? We 7-7. Seven seven. One man picked the Saints because it's out the Saints, Philly, and Minnesota. He said, who, gonna, who you think in? And the guy picked the Saints. I know I gotta look at our schedule, but it's gonna be hard to beat us. I feel like it's gonna be hard I to beat us. I feel like same. I hope we got like three of these games. I'm left. pretty sure it's gonna be some division game. In games. the dome. I hope they're in the dome though. We should have uh Carolina again. Did we play them a second time again though, huh? 
We got them at home, though. Yeah. All right. Yeah, look, we got three more games, brother. We going to the playoffs. We play Miami, Carolina, and Atlanta. I Where feel we like play we, Miami? we play Miami at home. That's a tough one, too. Cause we Miami got Carolina good. at home, and we go to Atlanta. We can beat Atlanta and Atlanta. Yeah, man, Atlanta beat us down here. We going to go out there and beat them. It's Miami game, big the game. The Miami the big game. They playing look, good. And then, look, they got the sprays already. They, listen to what I'm telling you, brother. We only giving Miami three. But picture already, we giving Carolina seven. They letting you know we going to beat the fuck out of them at home. <laughs> we getting them seven. <laughs> we getting them seven at home, but we only giving Miami three at home. They letting you know this the Miami the one like seven, eight games in a this row. This the vulnerable game. We beat they fucking ass. We going to take care of Carolina at home, and then we going to go to Atlanta. You hear me? Yeah, so our next two games at home and our last game in Atlanta, we in. I feel like we I feel like our chance is high. I feel like we in. We 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 should we should get in. I think we could beat Miami. Nice defensive game right there. And let me go to let me see who Philly played. Because it's us, Philly, and Minnesota. Philly got the Cowboys or something. All right, Miami. Philly got the Giants. Giants. At home. Then they go to Washington. Then they finish the season with Dallas at home. Yeah. I think that's game. tougher for them than us. That's tougher for them. Because guess what? Dallas could be trying to play for home field this last game. Just see if they have some slip-ups. Rams lose because they got four losses. Green Bay got three losses, and the Rams got four losses. And Arizona Everybody got four losses, losses, too. So Dallas is in the hunt for home field in these last three games. Nigga don't know. If Dallas go undefeated in these next three games, Dallas could, I mean, just say Dallas win their next game and the game after that. Dallas could be playing for home field that last game against Philly. Yeah, and they go, even if they're not, they're going to have to be playing for seeding. They don't want to go to fifth, sixth seed. And if it's a if, keep and if it's a win, fill it in situation. Come on, this is our division. We ain't about to let y'all in. We ain't about to let y'all even get in the playoffs. We about to beat y'all. Y'all out. <laughs> we about to beat y'all, man. Y'all out the playoffs. Yeah, and we might get a home game off of this. We might got home field advantage, but no, you might not get the buy, but you get the home game. Yeah, you right. You fucking around, lose a four way tie. You the four player. You don't even get no home game or something. You know what I'm saying? It's the end of the year episode two, man. 2021, bro. 2021, you know, last episode, man. Happy holidays, and, uh, man. We gonna get better uh, this coming year. 2022, we changing it up. We coming with something new. We gonna have some guests come on. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, man. We got that uh college playoff next week. <laughs> uh. You know, we got I, Alabama against Cincinnati, yeah, right? Lab, right? Look, I'm letting y'all know right now. Just call me a fool. Or Georgia dumb. against Michigan? Yeah, Georgia against Michigan. Call me a dumb fool, whatever. Woo, woo. But something been telling me upset. I don't know how I get it in my head, brother. But I feel funny about that Alabama game. I feel real. I, I, something ain't right about that Alabama game. But I just want to sit back. I ain't saying go drop your money on it. I ain't saying who going if Cincinnati gonna win. Something funny about that game, that Alabama game. It could it, it could be it's a, funny, bro. It could be an upset, but I think I think these every, people, it's all you know, it could be upset every game. Alabama vulnerable, bro. They vulnerable, dog. I mean, I would say they're the most vulnerable team out of the two, right? Because Cincinnati didn't lose, right? 
Cincinnati 12 and 0 or something, man. Yeah, Cincinnati 12 and 0. They didn't lose. Alabama lost a game. Yeah, and Alabama lost to uh, Auburn, huh? They had some close. No, Alabama lost to Texas A&M. Texas A&M. The man didn't fall down inbounds and they were the clock him. And LSU did the same thing. LSU was up with a minute left in the game. If the dude uh, fall inbounds, LSU going to be able to do the same thing Auburn was supposed to do. They was going to kick the ball back to Alabama. But instead of Alabama having a minute, they come down, Alabama would have had the ball with like 15 seconds left. Brother. Instead of the 40 some seconds left, they had to, wait to throw the two passes to get down there and tie the game. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I watched Alabama play against some sub sub part team. But this fucking Cincinnati team don't sleep on them, bro. They got all. They do. Them people got a running back. Them people could throw this bitch on. I just want to see if they could get some stops. If they could get, if they could get a few stops, it's gonna be an interesting game. I seen them play. They, it's gonna be an interesting game. And you know, I usually be on some shit like, man, uh-uh, man, they, SEC, they gonna beat the fuck out of them. It's just some. I, I, I really think these people might play with Alabama, bro. When is the game? December thirty first. That's New, New Year's Eve. It's New Year's Eve. And the championship ain't till January fucking 15 or some shit. We got some picks for y'all. You understand? Know got some Christmas Day picks. Some some New Year's Bowl Day picks. We gonna go through all that. They, you know it's bowl season now. But we ain't gonna really get to them the small bowl. We talking about like we'll give you the Rose Bowl pick. You know, the Sugar Bowl, Cotton Bowl, you know, the Orange Bowl. You know, the big, the New Year's Six Bowls. The New mm-hmm. Year's Six. We're going to give our picks with that. The New Year's Six Bowls and uh, NFL Christmas games and the games for this weekend. You know, this week, hold up, they got games Saturday and Sunday now. I think so, yeah. They got games Christmas and they got games Sunday. Oh, yeah, yeah, they got Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, NFL. One, 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 one that stick out to me this week. Uh, well, I'm going to give you Thursdays. Thursday, I'm going with Tennessee. I look for Tennessee to bounce back. And they they gonna win a tough game at home against Frisco. I like uh, take the three points, take the three points at home with Tennessee. Close game, Frisco. I respect them, but you know Tennessee ain't about to just keep on losing. You know Derrick Henry gone, but they still got a squad. You know I like Tennessee Thursday. If I was to bet that game. <clears throat> We'll be giving you a lock, man. I'm gonna get to that. That that that's just a Thursday game. It's by itself. That's the only game Thursday. Yeah, he's supposed to be giving locks. All right, my bad. CD want me to get all the locks. Yeah, cause fuck, I don't like that pick. You just picking some shit. I ain't just picking some shit. I mean, every time you, know you tell me I'm just picking some shit, it'd be a winner too. <laughs> Shit, though. I'd be a winner. Most times yeah, it'd be like, like the, when you'd be like, I'm just picking shit. I'd be on. 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 All right, let me give you a lot. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to give you. Monday night, they got Tuesday right. night, man. Niggas played on Tuesday. All right, man. fucking right. Let me give you a lot. Kansas City, minus the seven against Pittsburgh. Lock. They on the road. They on the road. Lock. They on the road. It's out there. It's out there. They're going to give it to them, too. Yeah, it's going to be close. It's going to be a good game. Big Ben them going to fight. But next thing you know, 31-20. KC final. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? In good game, Roger Burger now. Tyree got free. I like that pick better than <laughs> Tennessee. Tyree got free with five minutes left in the fourth quarter and scored. They was only up by four. 
Man, that Saints game, Monday night Whole game. Whole game. Too. Tyreek broke free. Yeah, the Saints huh? game, Monday night game. Saints game, <laughs> Monday night. Oh, all right. Man, man, I ain't know that. And, uh, are you uh, and it's tough, it's tough for me to go to, go against Baltimore because if Baltimore lose this week, that's three weeks in a row lost. You heard me? But Baltimore banged up and not. Baltimore know they can't get the number one seed. I feel like Baltimore now is just really prepping themselves. All they worry about now, we just need to do enough to get in. We got to keep our players healthy and get in the thing. So, how they play the Lamar and how they be you gonna be using Lamar in this game right here? Is Lamar playing? You see what I'm saying? I I like Cincinnati, bro. I like Cincinnati, games. bro. Cincinnati trying to get in the playoffs, dog. Cincinnati trying to get in the playoffs. I like Cincinnati, dog. Cincinnati a hungry team trying to get in the playoffs, brother. And I seen something that they kind of still in the hunt for the for the number one seed in the AFC. Yeah, they got a good record. They they got down to the same record as Baltimore. They eight and six. Them and Baltimore the same thing. You know, since it fell off a little bit like Baltimore. They lost. There was two or three you know, Yeah, They lost a couple of games. Some you like that Kansas City game. pick? I like the Kansas City pick. I, 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 I'm fucking with Kansas City. I like Pittsburgh, but KC might be a little bit too much. I think KC getting in their groove now. But, um... And, bro, I like the Colts. I like the Colts Christmas Day. I like the Colts. No D-hop. They got to adjust to that. No no, no, no D-hop over that. A.J. Green, I man, really like that. Your boy Rondell Moore out of college, Christian Kirk, a little slot receiver. But now it's like you got weapons, but you don't really got that true receiver out there like that no more. All them niggas was perfect to bail around Hopkins. I don't know if them niggas can be good if Hopkins ain't there. You get what I'm saying, see? I don't know if them niggas can. Nah, I don't know, though. That's, that. you know. Ain't J.J. Wide that's out for the season, game. too? Yeah, he ain't been playing. All right. oh, that's going to hurt them down the stretch. You know what I'm trying to tell you? Against a physical team like this, that's pounding that fucking rock. <laughs> They pounding that bitch <laughs> in Plan D. The Colts, the old I'm school a, I'm team in the league. Picks. I'm going to give you two picks. I like Tampa on the road to Carolina to bounce back, giving 10 and a half. I like them to bounce back and, mm-hmm. and, and deal with Cam and them, get back on their road. You know, I feel like time out trying to break records and shit. He trying to score, you know, he trying to get his three, 400 yards a game. You know, the people shut him out. They ain't fucking with that. I think he's going to try to make it up. In Carolina, beat the piss out of Carolina. You know what? And I like New England, man. I'm back at it. New England, man. They got Buffalo again. They beat Buffalo. I like Buffalo. They beat Buffalo on that stupid ass game yeah, out that there. Ass game. Watch now Buffalo it's gonna be on. another Throw that one. Bitch but all over the field on them this time. I like Buffalo. Yeah. Fit. Yeah, That's I like Buffalo. One. Buffalo, I'm telling you, they're going to bounce back. Buffalo going to beat them. That's a tough one. Yeah, and win the division. I like Buffalo early. Ooh, ooh that's the pick Sunday. Buffalo and KC. Shit, chat, man. So, yeah, that's my two tap in New England. Now, these, uh, these bold college picks. The yeah, bowl gonna pick the the, uh, the playoff shit. I know since again thirteen, Michigan getting seven and a half. Yeah, I like Cincinnati with the thirteen points, and I like Georgia minus the seven and a half. Yeah, uh, I was thinking the whole opposite, but I'm fucking with that dude. It'll go either way. But yeah, I think I kind of really like Michigan, though. That's what I really wanted to see. I think I, I, I feel like that game going to be a close one. I, feel, I fucks with Jim Harbaugh. You know what I'm saying? 
I think he gonna coach his way into a close game. Like Georgia may have a tad bit more talent. They probably loaded everywhere and shit. But I think Jim Harbaugh gonna have some up his sleeve. He already got it. He just got a, a a good look how you could beat him. You know what I'm saying? I like Michigan in a close in a close one. You know what I'm saying as far as with the spread. That since Alabama, I don't even know, bro. Right, bro. Alabama done won by this close so many times. It's just like, damn, might well go ahead and pick Cincinnati with the points. points. They 12 and no fuck. They might, they might really upset these people. Well, right, no, this is right. the perfect year. Like, you got a number one Alabama who really suspect with a with a young quarterback. Right. Freshman quarterback. He yeah. he he potentially, mm-hmm. they say he like that. I really ain't catch too much of Alabama and shit like that. As far as real live footage and shit, but you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> the Sugar Bowl. I give you the Sugar Bowl pick. I like uh, Ole Miss over Badland. The Sugar Bowl. I like Lane Kiffin to get him a Sugar Bowl win. Like that sugar bowl out here. Give them a nice bowl game. I know they got to start hitting all that, man. Bowl games and shit. Yeah, bro. For real. Yeah. Did I have a minute? You got the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. That's in Atlanta. You got Michigan State and Pitt. I like Michigan State. I mean, I like Pitt. I like the dude Pinkett. He going high in the draft. They quarterback. Yeah. Four year starter. Yeah. Dude, real nice. He, he, he was a Heisman finalist. He didn't win it, but he was a finalist. But uh, yeah, man. On that zope too, you hear me? <laughs> I'm on the deep Eww. east. I done kicked the juice, but you hear me? I'm on the deep east. Right. And zope. Man, we gonna hang it up, dude. Bro, been a good year. It's our 21st episode. You hear me? Like we say, we got bigger and better things coming in 2022. Yes. You know, big dog Dean got a lot up his sleeve. Big Woo got his ideas. Everybody got their little ideas, and we going to make sure we come through 2022. It's going to be a whole nother spazazz to it, but we're going to bring smoking sports from streets to that podcast, and we're going to get on a little bit more other shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? But that's where we at with it, baby. Peace out. Happy New Year. Stay safe out there. Uh, Another year gone. You dig?